beautiful and most gracious. Praise be to the Almighty, God who gave us food and drink, provided us sufficiently and gave us a place of shelter. According to the Islamic beliefs, human beings are called to protect, cherish, care, for, and respect the earth and all the creation with it. So I'm going to, because of the time limitations, what I'm going to do is just give you some of the quotations which are in the Quran and also some of the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and that's just to save the time. Of course, <coughs> Quran and, and the saying of the prophets emphasize protecting him, wherein the human environment at the center complement of faith. As a matter of fact, there are about 700 verses in the Quran which deal directly or indirectly with the, with the environment. But I'm just going to limit to a few of them so that uh, because of the time. Uh, 700 will be a little too much. Uh, Is it better just to hold that? Oh, OK. Yeah, we can hear you better. OK. Um, there are uh, quite rich in proverbs and precepts that speak of Allah's design for the creation and the responsibility given to human beings to keep the environment in the good order. As some of these Quranic verses, I've given the translation of them, that one, for example, it is he's it that made you inheritors in the earth. Some of the translations, uh, translations of inheritors is, is the caretakers. So actually, as uh, we are made to be the caretakers of this earth. Also, but waste not by access for Allah, for Almighty God loves not wasters. So it's, not, it's the biggest, and quite much emphasis is on not wasting. And as far as the water, which is the basic part of us, consider the water which you drink, while it's you that brought it down from the rain, cloud, or we, if we had pleased, we could make it bitter, then why do you not give thanks? since we are required to thank Almighty God for whatever we do, so that's all. Also, one of the messages is there is, O children of Adam, beautify yourself for every act of worship and eat and drink freely. That means we do not need to starve. We can do all those things, but that part of the message is, but do not waste verily he, that means the Almighty God, does not love the waste. Or who is it that has created the heavens and earth and sets down that for you life giving water from the skies? For it is by this means that we cause gardens of shining beauty to grow. That all the vegetation which is there is the water is the main element in that one. One of the things which I just want to show is that the, in the Islamic architect, the water and the Greenery is very important, and of course, uh, there is always a geometrical construction in all those uh, things. Uh, this is the, the examples of that. Now, some of the savings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is if it, this is uh, very important for us. If a Muslim plants a tree or sow the seeds, and then a bird or a person or animal eats from it, it is regarded as a charitable gift. That's means that you, whenever we plant tree, we grow vegetable or anything, we are doing in a, in a way we are doing a charit, charitable work. Also, destroying the environment, he who cuts a low tree, which is more Arabian type of tree, but that applies to all sorts of vegetation. He who cuts a low tree without justification, sometimes you have to do for justification. For example, we have to thin out the forests so that does not mean that you don't do that part, but it is that he who cuts a lot, low tree without justification, Allah will send the hellfire and do not waste water even you were at a running stream. So even you, over there, there is always the requirement that you do not waste that water. As far as the planting of trees and seeds, it's so important that if the hour that in the day of resurrection, 
is about to be established and one of you was holding a palm shoot. Let him take the advantage if in one second before the hour is established to plant it. So the planting is so important that even the time of coming of the end, then you need to not neglect that, but do it. Do, this is one of the message, very good, uh, a beautiful message. Do not cause any disruption on the earth after it has been so well armored. That's the a message from the Quran. This is one thing which is not in the Quran or in the Hadith uh, and the same, but this is the one I, I like very much. I found on the internet that one is that really there is no, no planet B. We have this planet and so we have to live with that one. And this is why what we need to do is to save it and preserve it and protect it. When the, of course, uh, this is a, a very moving uh, thing which I, it's not my creation, it's what, it was on the internet, I found it and I benefited from that one. Thank you.